In this video, I'll be demonstrating the Japanese digital air conditioning control system running on a US Yaris. Uh, before I begin the demonstration, just to show what was involved in making this uh, system work, uh, first of all, the air box that's currently in this Yaris uh, still has the manual uh, control. So I have the air box imported from Japan with the servos. Uh, we can see the three servo assemblies here uh, that would drive the same uh, things that would be uh, flipped by the manual controls. Um, so I have this just sitting on the floor since I haven't swapped out the air box to uh, fully install it at this point. Um, it also allows uh, a little bit better visuals on the uh, demonstration with having the servo so accessible. Uh, I had to make a harness to allow the um, AC ECU. Right now I have the Japanese AC ECU sitting on the floor here. Um, the connector E11 uh, versus connectors E8 and E9 on the US uh, DM1 uh, require some conversion. So here what I've done, I've taken the female connectors off a USDM AC ECU and basically made a plug-and-play harness here that brings us from those two connectors uh, to the connector E11 on the Japanese one. Um, so that makes it much easier uh, to install the way that I've done that. Uh, the other big piece is the blower. If we look at the bottom of the blower assembly, there is a box attached to the bottom in place of the uh, blower resistor assembly. Uh, basically the speed control on a US uh, DM1 is done by switching in various uh, resistor values. In the Japanese one there is a digital control built into the bottom of the fan assembly. Um, that's one piece that we missed in the import was getting the fan or at least the control system off of there. So I actually created a uh, MOSFET driven uh, speed controller that takes the signal out of the AC ECU and uh, adjusts the speed of the fan relative to that. So without further ado here, if I go ahead and turn the ignition on, we see the uh, uh, AC controls light up. Um, we see it's now showing that the current mode of operation would be for uh, air blowing uh, from the center of the uh, stack. Um, I can change that by pressing the mode button. Uh, now that I have, we can see the servos were moving as well as the uh, little character up there in the display changed. If I hit it again, again we see the servos moving. Okay, so that's we can cycle through the, the various modes of operation and see the servos move. Um, as well as that piece, the inside outside air, if I hit that piece, we see the servo moving that would flip the, uh, the blower door to uh, take air from inside or re uh, from outside. Um, now the fan piece, if I turn the fan on, we now hear the fan running at a low speed and we see the lowest speed setting shown on the display. As I increment up through the values, we hear the fan blowing at a higher rate of speed until we get up to the max fan. Uh, right now the fan is very loud because of the fact that the, uh, the blower stack is not in place so we're really getting a lot of fan noise. So I'll bring it down to a much lower setting here. And uh, now the other pieces that we have, air conditioning, we can turn that piece on and we can adjust our temperature. So the temperature piece is a just temperature knob. Uh, we see that that's in Celsius. Um, because of the fact that the only areas where the Yaris is available with digital climate controls uh, are countries where uh, the metric system is used, 
there is not a Fahrenheit conversion uh, in any way, shape, or form. Um, I've gone through the hardware and also gone through uh, talking to the Japanese ECECU with the TechStream tool, and there's no configuration parameter for switching to Fahrenheit. So that's one downside for U.S. people is that uh, they would need to be able to read temperature in Celsius to use it. So again, we can adjust the temperature. Uh, besides AC, we have our rear window defroster piece uh, still working. The front window defogger piece, um, if I turn the whole system off and then I hit that piece, uh, that basically turns on the AC and adjusts the servos in the fan for uh, uh, blowing up on the, uh, the windshield. So that's the, the front window defogger uh, by a single switch instead of having to hit uh, the typical uh, mode that we'd have to for turning the knob over to uh, blowing on the, uh, the windshield. Uh, besides having the, the manual modes of operation, we also have our automatic mode where we can simply uh, put it in auto, select the desired temperature, and either AC or heat will run based on the, uh, the call. And here again we have the option of adjusting the fan, um, but either AC or heat will run relative to uh, how we select the, uh, the desired temperature. Okay, so that's the JDM AC system working in the U.S. yards.